voice. How do I put this? Your sword is neither as sharp nor as painful as your singing. That was singing, right? No. Look, green lips. I know I have a terrible voice. But <laughs> I'm not a musician, am I? There is only one voice in the castle good enough for that. And why just sing then? Why sing if you can't do it, okay? Jane, why do it if you can't do it? How about you do one thing? Shut the fuck up before you start losing oxygen. Oh, you should have been already did that. But anyway, like, you shouldn't do it if you can't do it, you know? There's some things, if you can't do it, don't do it. That's just how it goes. You look like a serial killer. Yo, Chucky, sit the fuck down. That's what you should do. Anyway, bro, I gotta get on you, okay? Look, the king, what, what do you be doing with your life, nigga? Like, Gunther's dad is so evil, and he be doing shit, and you just don't say nothing about that. You don't, you don't do anything about that. And they be, like, seeing him do sometimes do stuff, and nobody says anything. Like, sometimes. It's just, either he just gets away with that shit fooling people and the king just doesn't do shit about it and the king you know everybody living cool everybody living good maybe i don't know i'm not too sure about that but is this like democracy bitch because <laughs> if it was and pepper wouldn't be the only one cooking i'm just saying and like you would think, like, knights wouldn't need to fight. What are they fighting for? They ain't fighting for nothing. This is entertainment. And he don't even watch this shit. What is the point of Gunther and, and James fighting as knights, though? Who are they fighting against? Huh? The fucking paper mache enemies they gonna fight against? And why do Jane and, and, and Gunther have to be enemies, though? Can't can't they just be like rivals? Cause enemies, like you don't like them ever. Like at least rivals, I mean, they know that like they can be cool at some times and then like go back to being rivals. But like Gunther's not her enemy. Gunther's a pretty friendly guy if you let him be. Like, but that the show was not on intent of doing that though. <laughs> I mean, he do be being nice, but they, they, they tend to, you know, he stays in character. Jane is too much in character all the damn time. And I'm going to show you, but look, look, bitch, look, King, uh, King David. <laughs> don't even know who that looks like, but you, you like you, 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 all the kings of the Bible, where are all your crowns at? Like it stacks up. <laughs> He's the king of all kings. What happened to other kingdoms? Did you kill all of them before this happened? Because y'all don't fight with nobody a kingdom. There's no such thing as another kingdom. And it, 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 Jane and Dragon makes up this kingdom. I think everybody realized that, like, you were lying. Because there's no other kingdom. Where? Did, dra did Dragon destroy all of them before they got here? What kind of shit is that? <laughs> Wow, that's another thing I wonder. And that crown on your head, isn't it supposed to be on top of your head, not around your head? And if it is supposed to be around your head, don't that hurt? Is that leaving mark markings on your head? Imagine being a king, you had to fit that shit on your head. It's like fitting a tight pinky ring on your like middle finger. That shit gonna hurt. All right, and then you're gonna lose blood in that finger because it's just pushing blood away from that. <clears throat> anyway, but like, look, look at him, look at the king. Like, except, except, Jesus Christ, I haven't been on this for a while. These fucking Shrek ass somebody, like, pants. Look, he look fresh. He got some gold a little bit on him. Fresh, fresh is one here. This is, this is, this is, uh, this is when you know this is not democracy, okay? You already know if that was the case. They said a lot of stuff that, that was around here wouldn't be a thing. 
Okay, everybody be living good. Everybody not. You look at the king and look at everybody else. Okay? It's just like, hey, look at the CEO and then look at the workers. You see a difference? Like, stop it, bitch. You know you're not doing much to change shit. And every time they gotta go to you to uh, pronounce something and then you or introduce something and you're like, great, let's do it. Like, let's say... They're like, oh, let's murder other people for, like, the U.S., uh, the U.S., you know. Let's murder people, you know, particularly brown people in other countries for uh, defensive reasons, King, because they're not cool. And he's like, okay, uh, as long as, you know, it's not this. He could just be, like, doing that because he's so dumb. He just, he just lets anything slide. Like, what kind of shit is this? All this man do is go to sleep and with stupid ass, fuck ass, dumb ass wife that from like what Lord of the Rings or some shit, <laughs> and and then makes decisions. And most time you're not even in the episode, or you know he's sleeping, or he's giving um, feedback. Man, you're 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 hyper. You're cool, I guess. Not really, though. It's your stupid ass. Yo, I didn't talk about Smithy in the last one, but Smith, we already know he'd be working hard, though. But still, if you do not get this fucking tsunami half wave shit that you got, it look like the tsunami finished demolishing pe- uh, uh, people down and in buildings and then the other side looks like it's about to come come around and do it it's like first wave second wave <laughs> like his hair kind of cool but like it's all over the place though smith he got he got typical uh you know work smith type shit on but does he all have any upgrades to make better weapons no i don't i know you don't stop it Okay, all right. So this episode, Jester loses his voice because Jane was like, "Yo, you gotta! It, it, I bet you can go even higher." Peer pressure. And that's what this is. In short terms, and then he went high, and then he died. His voice died. Good job. Good, good one. Nice. Nice. Like, what? And Jester did it because peer pressure. That's it. You shouldn't have done it, Jester, but, you know, you were feeling yourself. So, in reality, the voice guys have to be like, yeah, be humble, bitch. Sit down. That's what they did. And Jane, this is your fault. This is what happens when I get that, you know, this is this is what happens. You got a girl that didn't tell you nothing, and you didn't say nothing either. But still, she gotta say something. And then you, she cannot sing. So imagine waking up and she's singing your lines, and you get up. I am sorry. You're done. <laughs> You're done. I don't care if the eyes of beholder. Now I care about the ears. <laughs> <laughs> I care about the ears now. Our ears are fucked up because of your dumbass. So, all right, we're not boyfriend and girlfriends out of here. Get your fucking clothes and get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> Rob, sorry, but I got to, bro. I cannot, bro. You cannot sing. I'm done, bro. <laughs> bro, just don't do it, okay? I'm trying to sleep. And you up here, oh, uh, and I'm like, no, stop it. Now, Whitney Houston, get that shit out of here. I get it. It's a little thing to get to do that for, but like, bro, it's a case of you can handle that. You can handle that, but it's not for everybody. I'm sorry. And then you get me to fuck up my voice, so I can't talk like that. So, like, you're definitely not. We definitely got to break up now. Like, because how am I going to know when I have another trick and, like, a backflip shit and I get myself hurt? 
Not only I lost my voice, and I get hurt because she was like, yeah, no, do it again, do it again. And I'm trying to impress you and everybody else. This is that type of viol- validation shit that you need to not have, you know? If you have a precious gift that can be taken away, and you know it can be taken away, like, don't do it. Don't show off, okay? Unless you know it's not going to happen, but you never know, but don't. Don't let them peer pressure you into doing shit like this. Like, he does get it back, but, like, this is what happens when you peer pressure people. That's not good. That's not cool. And so, he, he, he ain't going to even say nothing to her. Watch. Just the best note to sing so high in the competition. And this is the fundamental thing wrong with this show. And wrong with most mediums is, oh, shit, it's the evil guy. It's the guy that we don't want to like, and it's the person that we do want to like. When that person is mostly the most unlikable person, like, she has the attitude of Merida from Brave, but Merida got that shit together, though. And, um, like, <laughs> she, she ain't her, but, like, that that stereotype of redheads, you know what I mean? Besides, I'm Merida's my favorite princess of uh, Disney princess. We don't, we're not going to talk about that. But anyway, like, this is the problem here. Rivals, not enemies. Rivals. And Jane doesn't seem to get that through her thick, bald-headed, Caillou, bitch-ass head. You just don't know when to separate the two, don't you? You don't. So when he just, like, trying to save him, like, no, Gunther, nobody listens to you. And it's like, your friend, and then look at Smithy. This is what happens when you have yes men on your side. Bro, do you give him a face full of pussy too? What your dumb ass? What kind of slut ass shit is this? I thought that was fucking jesters. <laughs> when Gunther's being smart, everybody's like, no, fuck you. No, fuck you. I'm defending Gunther right now. I'm his attorney. Fuck out of here. Don't don't be fucking messing with my man Gunther when he be right. And he was right. And he lost his voice. So how do you feel? How do you feel? Huh? Feel dumb, don't you? You can't sing for shit. It's you out here trying to, you know, massage his balls. And now, now what happens? Gunther's right. And I, 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 that's the thing I never got. Like, no. Jane is, like, one of the most unlikable characters in this shit. She she sometimes can be likable, but most times, like, she can't seem to get her shit together. She on her period, like, <laughs> almost 24-7. Almost. Not all the time, but, like, Gunther, he has to be in a persona. You know, he's actually is cool. He actually try to do work, and he accepts punishment when he does stuff. When his dad does stuff, he accepts the punishment, even though the punishment should be on his dad. We don't talk about that. So, like, this hatred towards Gunther that they want kids or people to have of him is so stupid. It's so obvious. Like, no, I don't. I I, I don't hate Gunther. I don't. I like Gunther. He he's cool. Like. Sure, he can be that person, but he's portraying himself as that person. He's being that person Jane wants him to be, because Jane is, is exactly who Gunther pretends to be. Snarky, uh, better than everybody, roasts everybody, and all that stuff. And she kind of just picks up on that. No, no, not picks up on that, but pick, picks that up. And adapts that and then becomes that when she gets mad. Because when somebody's mad, you can tell who they really are just on that. Because they, it's not like you're always accidentally saying shit. Like, stop it, bitch. Like, when she gets mad, that's when the true feelings come out. Like, Gunther is just the quite opposite. And he helps her sometimes in the show. And then that's what they do, have this friendly moment. But, you know, it, it just like the rest of the castle just thinks that they fight all the time. And, and clearly, she wants that to be the case. A lot of the damn time, it's like, Jane, get it through your head. 
He's he's he he's not your enemy. He's he's your ally, okay? And he's better than you a lot of damn time. So I, I'm just saying. So you need to put some respect on Gunther's name. So, like, plus he wearing better shit than you. <laughs> you still wearing this shit. You still wearing this spit up shit. That's what you still doing this old oh man about to change the colors, about to turn autumn. Yeah, fall is coming, like, bitch, get the fuck out of here. Snatch that weave off. Exposed, bitch. Hello? Whose voice sings so sweetly? Go to hell, dragon! Oh, uh, yes. This part of the episode where dragon was secretly the voice behind this. Uh, uh, this was still ridiculous. And that's why the past me just said that. Yeah, go to hell with this. Stop. The dragons don't have the vocal cords to do that anyway. I like... Just stop. So he was talking about how her voice sucked. Like, Dragon, we know that's not your voice. That's a voice box on top of your voice. Stop acting like that. Or does that support my theory that you are not actually a dragon? You're actually being piloted by people. And that person who's the third, fourth, fifth person inside you have that, have that voice. That's the only reason I, that that's the only the way that explains anything. Like I said, yeah, a bird saying that, a uh, animal that can sing, being like they can talk and say, "Oh man, your voices suck." Like I understand that because you know, like birds are good singers and like some other animals are good singers, so of course they will say that shit. Like, you no know, duh. Of course they'll be voice experts on that shit. But Dragon, though, this, like, pulling of the rug, like, you, as a kid, you would think, like, man, who is that? Is it anybody from the castle? The people who are in the castle. And then when you start getting older and you watch this again, you, you can only think Dragon. Because you watched it before, but even if you didn't watch it, you can just guess. Like, hmm. There's no other kingdoms, because we've seen a lot of episodes. So, it has to be one of these characters. And if you pick up on what Dragon was saying, you can obviously see it's Dragon. Talking about the voices, and how they should do their voice, and all that other stuff. It's like, hmm. The, the reveal becomes less surprising when you really narrow it down. Well, at the end, Dragon sings for 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 the king because the king needs to jerk off while while singing that person singing, and that's kind of how the episodes end. I think I'm gonna leave you with this though. You got diapers, bitch. That's for Smithy's dumbass. Here he goes. This is you after a few years, Harold. <laughs> Then you die like a bitch in the movie anyway.